What's up guys? So here we are at my favorite Canyon Road about to test out these new Progress sway bars. So my modifications that I've done to this car so far are Progress lowering springs, these new sway bars, and these grippy Continental Extreme Contact Sport tires. The Progress springs really help tame the floatiness I felt in the car and it seems much more responsive on inputs. But the body roll was still prevalent. So I'm hoping these sway bars are going to tame that. These Progress sway bars are adjustable, so I have the rear setting set to the tightest, the innermost hole, and the front setting set to the middle hole. There's three holes. So, let's take this bad boy up to the canyon and see what she can do. See what he can do. Gee, let's take her up through the canyons and see what she can do. <gasps> the most prominent difference I notice about these sway bars is how planted the car feels through turns. I have much more confidence in the car, and paired with these lowering springs, I can feel the road and am more in tune with how the car is reacting to the road. The lowering springs really help to the responsiveness when the car is accelerating or braking in a straight line. No more nosedive when braking or lifting when accelerating. But the sway bars transformed this car in the turns. I will have to be careful though, because with the stock setup, the back end would kick out more gradually. I would hear it start to screech and then it would slide out. With the sway bars, however, it kicks out very quickly and I had to adjust accordingly. That being said, I am far from a professional driver. These are just things that I noticed so far. So this was my first Canyon drive with these new sway bars and I can confidently say the body roll is tame. <laughs> The car feels nothing like it did before, in a good way, but it's gonna take a lot of getting used to. But I'm gonna save that for the track so I can really push it. For the money, these sway bars are a 10 out of 10, especially if you can install them yourself, or with a friend, or completely by a friend. Like my friend Zach did in the last video. Check that out, it was uh, interesting. I'm planning on taking this car to the track very soon so I can really see how these springs and sway bars perform. My main goal with this car and channel is to become a better driver, reduce my lap times, and I want to know what to do if the car oversteers or understeers, so I'm going to be learning a lot of things along the way, and hopefully you will too. So, I'll see you in the next one. Redlining, redhead out.